day two of ad tech at New Delhi. And uh, we would like to wrap up by speaking to Richard Dunmill. Uh, he is the Vice President, Microsoft Advertising Global Accounts and Agencies, based out of New York. And uh, in his exciting role, he looks at revenue, strategic partnership, and looking at you know, identifying new opportunities within the digital space across the globe. Uh, it's great to have you here, and uh, we would like to start by uh, you know, asking you how was your you know, two days, and what did you feel you know, at the end of these two days? Yeah, no, well, thanks for the welcome. It's been um, exciting, energetic, um, hugely uplifting around the possibilities of, of the Indian marketplace. I always like being here. Uh, I like being here as a person, but also from an advertising perspective, it's, it's exciting. Um, I used to live in the region as well, so it's great to be back. Uh, I've spent the last couple of days, apart from uh, speaking at the conference, also uh, meeting with our key partners that, that equally have a, a really important focus on India, uh, on the agency side and leading accounts. So it's, it's been fun-packed, it's been busy, and I'm sure I will sleep well on the plane this evening as a result of that. Great. Um, so, uh, you know, everybody, you know, all the speakers, a lot of participants, exhibitors are talking essentially about, you know, digital becoming mainstream. And there's a, you know, 4% contribution that India market has in the entire, you know, pie. So, uh, what do you have to say about that? And what do you have to say in terms of uh, the way or, you know, the way in which you know, digital would move to a mainstream, you know, platform. Yeah, you know, it's 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 a huge growth opportunity in India, uh, in a number of markets still, but India is a really obvious uh, example of that. You know, you look at the size of the internet audience in India, how fast it's growing, notwithstanding some of the infrastructure challenges around broadband speed, that, but I think we'll pass that eventually. So I think the opportunity is huge. Um, the number of mobile devices that are in the market, although smartphone penetration is relatively low, I think that's going to increase as cheaper smartphones come to this market, including from us. So I think that the opportunity is huge. We have a job to do, though. We have a job to partner with our, our friends in the agency community, both creative and media, uh, and also with leading accounts. Uh, brands that feel less comfortable in that environment, traditional marketers that feel really comfortable in traditional environments. Um, we have a job to do, as well as some of our biggest competitors, to make them feel good about it. And then I think you'll start to see the scale that you've seen in other parts of the world. Great. So, uh, you know, I wanted to, I'm really itching to ask you this, that there's been, been a bit of a dichotomy between the fact that on one end, you know, everybody's talking about engagement and everybody's saying that, you know, digital would move to the next level if there's a lot of brand engagement there, you know, across all devices. And on the other <coughs> end, you know, we get statistics which says that there are so many devices that are being added. Mm. And obviously Microsoft is, you know, at the helm of, you know, long innovating and creating so many environments. What would you think a consumer do in a scenario like that because there's a clutter, there's a lot of devices that they have to choose from on a daily basis. And is it you know, a little bit of an overkill to say that they would be engaged on all devices all the time? Yeah, I think, it, I think it's a big challenge for marketers. Uh, there's a lot of fragmentation. What, what's interesting, though, is consumers don't care about fragmentation. It's only the advertising market that cares about fragmentation. Um, the holy grail for all of us is understanding the non-linear journey between a smartphone, a tablet, a PC, the television, um, increasing numbers of screens, and being able to tell a connect, connected, consistent story across all of those devices and services and environments. I think today we're still quite siloed. Um, I think the way we think about it is, is as such. And, and, and to me, it comes down to two things. Number one, it comes down to building great content, great experience, the experiences that brands want to participate in. And increasingly, as consumers themselves become storytellers, as they start to distribute content themselves, in fact, they already are at scale, um, that's a huge opportunity for brands. Um, and I think as we start to have a more ubiquitous view of what the consumer journey is across screens, um, that will create a more consistent framework for brands and agencies to make good decisions around all of these devices to the point where it doesn't really matter either, um, and it becomes more about the experience. So, um, so, you know, alluding to your earlier point, then how would Microsoft uh, look at 
pioneering in this area and sort of leading and hand-holding the others, you know, in terms of collaborators and other partners so that they could sort of instill that culture of sharing and content, you know, uh, you know, collaboration on that respect. So yeah. any thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, on one level we do, we do engage in that already today. So we have... Um, many examples of brands and in fact I shared some of them with a conference today of brands that are partnering with us and agencies that are partnering with us in order to build these really rich immersive experiences so that's that's happening it's happening in a number of markets it's happening through global partnerships um, I, I do think that the the opportunity for Microsoft is that we have a unique portfolio of services we reach about a billion consumers every month across all of the the different things that we produce whether it's Xbox or MSN, um, as well as our software and other services. So for us, the goal and the strategy is to connect all of those things together, to build a connected story. And I think brands are really excited about that, and they see us as a unique ecosystem as a result of that. But, you know, it's an exciting marketplace, and we have great competitors that have good, good, good uh, platforms as well. Great. So, uh, you know, you talked about, you know, the art of storytelling, and, you know, content playing such a great role. Uh, and, you know, there was, you know, an uh, example that Volkswagen and, you know, uh, the other automotive uh, on how they have used content to kind of create, you know, a sense of inspiration and, you know, sharing. Uh, I wanted to have, uh, hear more thoughts of yours on, you know, some of the products that you have, uh, you know, brought in the marketplace and particularly the Windows Phone, uh, the Xbox, Skype. And because each of these pro pro products are less technology, media-driven products. Yeah. So, you know, what would you say is the kind of differentiator for each? And do you think that, you know, one is more evolved than the other? And how are you going to kind of, you know, get them more, uh, you know, evolved over the, you know, across the globe? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the, the one consistent thing about all of those examples is they're products to be proud of. Um, they're actually really cool devices or services. And so... Consumers vote with their feet and, and will, will engage in those products, buy those products, uh, create new content platforms because they think they're immersive, exciting, enriching. Um, and I think the, the work that we've done with the phone is a very compelling example of that. Um, arguably not enough people know about it yet, and that's a different challenge. Um, certainly in India, it's a relatively new thing when we've, we've just launched the Lumia 800 Nokia phone, which is very exciting. It's a, it's a beautiful device, and the, the, the interface is fantastic. It's actually a great example of the full horsepower of Microsoft. They're in one thing um, around this new tile operating system that you're going to see roll out into our broader software. Um, and I think that shows... Um, the, the best of the company coming together at scale, and that's something we're really excited about. Xbox, we don't even know how big it's going to be. It's 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 fast become, you know, one of the most exciting entertainment uh, platforms around the globe. Uh, and then you add on top of that Connect, which takes the interface between humans and technology to an entirely new level of interaction. Um, the possibilities are really endless, and and we're really just scratched for even way beyond advertising into other forms of, of interactions, other ways of helping human beings through technology, whether it's education, health service, um, uh, you know, th th there's so much yet to come. Um, and I think for coming back to our world of advertising for brands, that's just really, really exciting. Interesting you mentioned about uh, healthcare, because, you know, again, healthcare is one area which is huge in India and it's untapped and it is rather not when it comes to digital at all. But, uh, you know, when there was a study done by Comscore, they said that there's so much more on online videos, email, networking, whereas, you know, things like, you know, downloads still are sort of coming of age and they've not really picked up here in this market. So, you know, in that kind of a context, when you look at, uh, you know, Microsoft and see the kind of partnerships or investments, are you looking at doing some of those kind of investments with startup companies, you know, digital annuals who could sort of create that, you know, awareness so that through MSN or through some of the products, one could actually get into an habit formation? We're always looking at new companies. Okay. Uh, we're always thinking about ways that we can add new experiences to our portfolio of services. Um, we build a lot of things ourselves, and, and then sometimes we happen to find an amazing company 
that happens to be the best in the world at that and then we may well reach a point think that there's something to do there. Uh, I'd say Skype is a pretty good example of that um, and uh, who knows where that product will go as a social tool, as a video dialogue capability, a very emotive environment, as an advertising platform. We don't even know. I think you know we're, we're still figuring that out. But we're always looking at companies um, and we're always looking at ways of, of adding to our consumer and our, our enterprise services as well. So I'm sure we'll keep looking. Great. Um, so um, what do you, I mean, I would just, you know, like sum it up by you know, throwing some buzzwords. And I would like to know in terms of what your opinion on each of those are, because they came out in the last two days and a lot of people talked about it. Yep. So one thing was, you know, smaller screens mm -hmm. and mobiles. And, you know, everybody's talking about it, you know, especially, you know, smartphones being very less in terms of penetration, but still in terms of numbers and potential, there is a lot. The other buzzword was, uh, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, gamification. And the third was in terms of geolocality, mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, a lot that is being done in that, you know, area. And the fourth thing that, you know, everybody talked about was, you know, democratizing the process and creating things which are more mass, you know, given that a lot of people in India still cannot afford a smartphone yep. or, you know, cannot afford something very fancy. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on them, each of those? Yeah, I, I would agree with all of those as sort of macro trends. Um, I think the phone will start at scale the true extent of its possibilities as a device provided we treat it with the respect it deserves as a different kind of experience. I think the innovation is going to come in the areas of location-based services, retail experiences, uh, localized search experiences, um, and I think the appification of the, the mobile environment, not, not just actually with phones but also tablets, means that the way that brands lean into that opportunity is going to be a little bit different, certainly to a PC-based environment, I think. So I, I think that's, that's quite exciting. Um, also speaks to the geo side of uh, the trends that you were talking about. Uh, and I can't remember the other two that you've just the mentioned. Social, theme. social yeah. you said that you know, you're using television and internet and sort of linking the two and yeah. creating some kind of an excitement. Which I saw some of your examples which yeah. did lead to that. Yeah, yeah. I think the, I think you're going to see an increased convergence of experiences, uh, whilst there will be fragmentation. I mean, one of the things that perhaps didn't come up here as much, but I think television is the new battle technology companies, um, not just with us with Xbox. You know, Google are doing some really interesting things. Um, Apple are rumored to be doing some really interesting things, and I'm sure that they will that will will develop something interesting. So all of us are thinking about the convergence and the fact. And the reality that the sort of the digitization of all things is what we're really focused on rather than digital advertising as a channel. Because really digital as a channel is, is kind of flawed as a concept because everything will be digitized. I mean, we've been saying that for 10 years. And I think I noticed that in your presentation because... Uh, it had a very holistic appeal to it, so mm. there was a lot of screens that were added and there was a more subtle way in which you targeted it rather than, you know, looking at each in a distinct way. Yeah, level. I think the screens will blur and I think, um, you know, our prediction is, is that, that everything becomes a screen, everything becomes addressable, um, everything becomes digitized and everything becomes internet enabled. So whether it's the refrigerator in your kitchen, uh, your car, um, all the, the three or four devices you have today, all of those things become screens that become content providers and advertising platforms. So I think, you know, it's such an exciting time to be in the industry because you can almost feel and literally touch that. And then, of course, if you layer onto that, the fact that now there are technologies like Connect that allow you to experience technology in very human ways, touch, voice, sound, new forms of engagement, you know, that the, the way to delight human beings and the way that brands can be uh, accretive to the audience, so I, I, I think is going to be one of a big shift in the advertising economy. So personally, which one is your favorite, you know, amongst all? Oh, it's hard not to get excited about Connect. Okay. I, I, think, I think human interaction, just playing games on Connect is, is a lot of fun, yeah. but some of the things we're experimenting with just blow your mind and uh, it certainly gets me inspired it's when very, I talk. Very exciting and I mean, you talked about 
cars. So is it going to happen with the cars as well? Um, maybe. I mean, connect. I think. I think the car is the next computer surf surface that we're seeing. I mean, there are examples of automotive manufacturers in North America, like Toyota and Ford, that have a Bing app um, constructed into their new cars. Um, you know, the partnership with people like Ford, where we have Ford Sync. Um, which is a leading technology that allows you to do everything from your Bluetooth enabled capabilities to mapping. You know, the possibilities are endless and and some of the future forward things we're predicting mean that the the car will become much more of a predictive environment that will allow you to assume things. You know, if you're driving to the doctors and the traffic you know the traffic is going to make you late. So you the, 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 the car or the car will tell your doctor you're going to be late. Oh. Oh. So there is technology that exists today that we'll be able to do that. And, and at some stage, that will, that will reach critical mass. Okay, great. And any last concluding uh, words for you know, everybody who has been participating here um, in terms of what would be your guidance? You know, I'm just uh, asking to wear the digital marketer's hat and you know, share in terms of you know, your three takeaways from the conference and what you would like uh, everybody to take home. Yeah, I, I think the, the possibility of India in digital can and should be realized. Um, I think it needs to move past itself and believe in itself. Um, I think the consumer argument is too strong. Um, and I think the increasingly legacy infrastructure issues are no longer acceptable reasons not to grow um, what is inevitably going to grow anyway. And consumers ultimately will decide that. So it's a question of marketers getting behind that, believing in the opportunity, understanding that the art of storytelling is the same in many respects and using the skills that traditional media brings you and using this incredible creative canvas I think is India's opportunity. I think the other thing for India as well is the mobile opportunity is really compelling here. Um, the way that there's an entire generation of consumers here that only know the mobile device as their first internet experience. I think you're going to see some new cheap smartphones in this market that allow further democratization of that experience. And I think you're going to see companies like us continue to uh, investigate that opportunity as much as we can. Um, so I think that's a huge opportunity for, for consumers and a big trend for mobile as well. Great. So we look forward to having Microsoft again next year and uh, you know, getting to see some wow products. <laughs> it's good to be here. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, Richard. Thank you. Great having you.